Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the brand new Ray-Ban State Street sunglasses. So the model number of these is the RB2186, and they have these beautiful tortoise frames, and they also feature Ray-Ban's light green lenses, which really make these sunglasses pop. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses only come in one standard size. They don't come in a small or a larger size. And the lens size is 49 millimeters and a 21 millimeter bridge. These frames are a more squared off and more angular version of the original classic Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses. I actually have a pair of original standard size Wayfair sunglasses to show you guys right now. So again, here are the original sunglasses. And as you guys can see, the State Street really pull a lot of character and a lot of inspiration from these original Wayfair sunglasses. But these are also very similar to the Ray-Ban Meteor. So I actually have a pair of Meteors right here. And again, these are the standard size, the Ray-Ban Meteor sunglasses. And here we can really see a very close comparison between these Ray-Ban Meteor sunglasses and the brand new Ray-Ban State Street sunglasses. I know a lot of you guys were interested in me comparing them, so that's why I decided to do it in the actual review rather than making a whole separate comparison of these sunglasses. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the details of these frames. Of course, like every pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, they're going to have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens. And then if we take a look here, we can see those classic Wayfair style metal accents here in the top corners of the sunglasses. Now, Moving all the way to the outside temples, we can see that raised Ray-Ban logo. And again, that raised Ray-Ban logo is found on both sides and is also on the original Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses. These sunglasses have these wonderfully beautiful tortoise acetate frames. And if we look through the frames here on the temples of sunglasses, we can see a metal stem that runs all the way from the front to the ear rest. And that metal stem is there to add rigidity to the sunglasses and it also makes adjusting them a lot easier. These sunglasses have very nice and premium all metal hinges that feel very good when opening up and when closing them, and these hinges are actually the exact same hinges found on an original pair of Wayfair sunglasses. These sunglasses, just like the original Wayfair and the Ray-Ban Meteor sunglasses, are made in Italy, and they say that in the inner right temple sunglasses, they say Ray-Ban made in Italy. As far as looks go, I thought the design was pretty out there when I first ordered them, but after wearing these for a couple days, I actually really do appreciate all the lines, and I do appreciate the styling of these frames. I think they actually look really decent and very new. I like how they are kind of a twist on the original Wayfair and Meteor sunglasses. And the more I wear the sunglasses, the more I actually really do like the look of these sunglasses. These frames are very unique, and I think a lot of you guys are actually going to enjoy these. Now, probably my biggest complaint about these frames is the fact that right out of the box, they are a little bit tight here around the ear. So I haven't adjusted these yet. And as you guys can see, they bend in very far and they're gonna kind of dig in after wearing these sunglasses for 30 plus minutes into the side of my face. I also have this problem with the original Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but it's super easy to adjust. All you have to do is heat up the frames or put them in hot water, and then you can easily just bend them out and make them more comfortable. Now, the reason why I haven't already adjusted them is because I wanted to show you guys how much they do curve in right out of the box. Now, if you're not comfortable adjusting these frames yourself, you definitely can take them somewhere, but that might also cost you an extra couple of dollars. So this really isn't a big deal to me because I'm just going to adjust them as soon as I'm done filming this video, but I figured it was worth mentioning to you all anyways. As far as coverage from sun goes, unfortunately the sunglasses do not offer the best coverage. There is a pretty big gap to the sunlight in unprotected here up top. And again, if we take a look here at the sides, again, there is a pretty big gap. I'd say this gap here up top and the sides are a little bit bigger than a pair of traditional Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but these gaps definitely aren't as bad as something like a pair of original Ray-Ban round metal sunglasses. Now, as far as pricing goes, these sunglasses are going to run you around $165 directly from Ray-Ban's website or in most stores. However, I recommend picking these up on Amazon. You should be able to save around $20 or more by picking them up there. So I will leave a link description down below for you guys can check out these exact pair of sunglasses on Amazon. But overall, I really do like these sunglass frames. I think they look really, really good. I like how they are a take on the traditional Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses, and they really do change it up a lot. I like the angular style, and I love all the different lenses and frame combinations that Ray-Ban released with this particular pair of sunglasses. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below, and of course, make sure that the subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video, just like this one, to my YouTube channel. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.